What's up guys and welcome to another cleaning simulator, but this one is a bit more nefarious than usual. This is crime scene cleaner. So this, I believe we are not working for like the FBI or some sort of a, a company that works for the city and cleans stuff up. I think we're like a crooked crime scene, crime scene cleaner. I, I think we, you know, if you've got some problems, we'll come take care of it for you. It's open, just come in. Hi, is Mark back home already? He should be in a few minutes. Do you want something to drink while waiting? No thanks. He's poured himself champagne? Bro, what? Kowalski's apartment. We've got to find our phone. Bro, what is it? Who's a good boy? Sorry, Hello. Dexter, but it's no time for a walk. I think we got some work to do, Dexter. Oh my goodness, this is so intense. Got our phone on the table here. Son of a bitch was having an affair with my wife. So I just offed him and his entire family. The problem is I didn't really think it through, so you'll need to get rid of the surveillance footage as well. I'll send you the address over email. I just need to wash this blood off me first. That doesn't sound good, but duty calls. Okay, so we're gonna collect whatever that is. We've gotta pick up all of our tools. Dude, this is not what I was expecting. This is really dark. Oh, we've got bags and stuff, bro. This is insane. Where are our other tools? Look at this house that we have. I mean, as a crime scene Elena, clean... She's still in the hospital. As a crime scene cleaner, we're doing okay. Uh, we got stuff downstairs. How do we get downstairs? This is crazy. Looks like we can go down to our basement. I don't really love this. Pick that up. We've got this nice here. To know not everyone thinks I'm a loser. Mr. Kowalski, I was the guy you caught smoking crack in the bathroom three years ago. Not only did you not rat me out to the principal, you also said something like, life is often miserable, but drugs only make it better for a moment, and it just won't pay off in the long run. You're the reason I went to rehab. It worked. I'm clean now. So thanks. You were the coolest adult in our school. I hope you know that by now. All the best, Eric. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it, my man. So we're a, a school janitor here, and we work for the mob or something on the side. We're gonna go to our car. And we are gonna go to the house of Mr. White. Dude, this is, we've got like cutscenes and, and voice actors and stuff. Impulsive mobster killed a bunch of people at some rich guy's mansion. He left five bodies and plenty of evidence behind. I need to clean up this mess before the police get here. Five bodies, three star location, and mission payout of 10 grand. I mean, these cutscenes and everything. What is this game? I was not expecting it to be this well. Po this might be the most polished cleaning simulator we have ever played. And that's that's a bold statement to say right now. But look, I've never seen a cutscene in a cleaning cleaning simulator. This is freaking creepy, dude. I don't like this. Time to look for the bodies. We've got to find a way into the villa and dispose of the bodies. Now, I got to be honest. I think there's probably going to be some of this I can't show. Or we're going to have to... At the blur. Oh my oh, fuck, what a bloodbath. God. Why the swimming pool? Oh my goodness, dude. Look at this place. Bro, what? Washing blood stain oh gosh. Washing stains is one of the cleaning activities you have to do most of the time. You have to be throwing your cleaning to wash the blood completely to wash it. Use a mop power washer or a sponge. Interest. Oh, we've got this. So we've got air cleaner, lamps, detergents, buckets, sponges, power washer, garbage can, and mops. Interesting. This hey, I budge. Looks like some kind of electronic lock. I don't 
I don't love this, if you want me to be honest. <laughs> this is really intense. <laughs> Electronic lock, I wonder if we're... Locked. Maybe the pool boy has the key on him. I wonder if we're gonna be able to... Oh, it drained the pool. All right, that, that worked for us. Is there a pool boy somewhere? Oh, oh, yep, I see the pool boy. Once you find a body, it should be removed from the crime scene. Pick it up and take it to your car and throw it in the trunk. It should turn into a body bag. Why do we have to kill the pool boy? I guess you can't leave any evidence or no witnesses. Gotta get rid of all of them. Ugh. It was Ugh. nice not knowing you. Okay. That's the first body. So he, did he have the, the keys on him? He did have the keys. The keys to the workshop. So we can collect those. And I think that is going to take us over here so we can open this. That should open the main door. We can reset the fuses and that's going to let us inside the house. Dude, this is so freaking just bad. Th this is bad news. The ground floor. Look at this beautiful home that was completely destroyed. We found a hundred bucks. We can steal that? Why not? Something I just realized is walking through this stuff, we we leave our own footprints on the ground, which is is not good. We're looking, I'm thinking out of an abundance Don't of budge. caution, I probably won't show any bodies. But now I have to deal with Jennifer's body. Oh wow, she was a, a fitness model. Okay, yeah. So we're we're gonna run around and we're we're gonna try to clean everyone up, and then we'll we'll deal with cleaning up the blood. You know what I mean? Joyful nihilism. Is that what makes this whole ride worthwhile? Hey, Edge Lord, just take the edge off. So this is the upstairs area, dude. This is just good lord. This is just a, a really hard game to play. Look at this dude's gaming. He was playing Crime Scene Cleaner and. Celestial Empire. He had a green screen here. What a freaking room, dude. My goodness, this house is immaculate. All right, we have this over here. Oh, Lord. Punch this open. Oh, God. I really don't like this. Gotta break this door entirely. I need to be careful so she doesn't fall. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, this game is so bad. We're at four out of five. I'm 100% getting put on a list somewhere for this. This, this is... I'm, I'm excited to just clean, you know, the red paint off the walls. I don't I don't need the other parts. I, is this the last room? The bathroom? This actually looks really clean. Oh, well, we're leaving our footprints everywhere, though. There's a key here. We're probably going to want that. The laundry key. That's the thing. We got to remember everywhere we stepped because we're leaving bloody footprints. This room was locked before. Can we open it? We can. So we can do some laundry if we want. Oh, we found a stack of cash. Yes, please. I'm going to take the roll too. And there's a golden wrench. I probably shouldn't be stealing, but I mean, they're not going to use it anymore, right? Jesus, that one was tortured. A lot of stab wounds, some drill marks. Easy to see that it was deeply personal. So that must be Mark. Can you hear sirens and stuff going off in the background so we probably want to try to speed this up a little bit i'm thinking we start upstairs because this is the least of everything can we we can pick this up picking up and throwing things some things may get in the way of your cleaning you'll have to be moved pick it up press it hands equipped do we have to do anything with this though like do we need to throw that out or are we good i'm not sure let's see we've got mops garbage can power uh we're just gonna mop the rug here. I wasn't sure if we should mop it or power wash it or what, but we're gonna try to get all this. We've got a phone on the ground there. So we probably want to pick Your that up as well. Legit. Dad had an affair and fucked the whole family by accident. Uh. Care, are you there? Yeah, what's up, Mabel? Freaking out right now, why? I think Dad is having an affair. Overheard him talking to some woman on the phone. Wasn't mom, I'm sure of that. Don't go crazy, girl, it was probably nothing. I don't know, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just tripping, for sure. I mean, it's it's interesting that we have like a, a true story here. Oh, is the sponge what we want to be using? Sponge is a cleaning tool known for its high precision. When using a sponge, you can avoid shattering some delicate items as its movements don't push other objects and it also doesn't harm delicate surfaces. Use it when you don't want to create additional mess. Remember that a sponge also gets dirty over time. We need to be rinsed in a bucket of water. I bet our mop has to as well. Shoot, so do we need... We have our... Oh, this is crazy. 
We're gonna have to put buckets out and fill them with water. I saw the water thing out outside. Bucket, your primary tool. It's used for cleaning a mop or a sponge. Before it's used, it must be filled with water, which can be done at the water sources marked with a special icon. Put down the bucket, the water source will automatically attach itself to the correct position and begin to fill. Section causes the bucket to fill. So we want to put this out here next to our water source. And if we if we put a, a bucket here. Oh, so now we've got a bucket full of water. We can carry this inside and we can rinse out our mop and our sponge. We put this down and then if we have our mop, we can clean it out there. Interesting. Okay, now we're going to want to continue cleaning this place up. I'm going to try the sponge too. Oop. We've got a, a sponge and a sponge. Just got two sponges. So here, this is going to cause less stuff to be thrown around. It's going to be a little bit more precise. And we're going to be able to really get those hard to reach areas. But it's going to... Oh, wow. Look at the... the what's it called? The water in the bucket starting to... Starting to get, you know, red as we empty into it. Oh, this is so sad. Look at that. We got photos of, like family and stuff. Come on, Dad. Why'd you have to go cheating, messing about with somebody else's wife? This wouldn't happen to you. I feel like it still shouldn't, but I guess it's a part of life. I do feel like on some of the bigger stuff here, let's just use our mop. This goes a bit quicker. Goodness. Keep calm and live, laugh, love. <laughs> well, I don't think you're doing any of those three things anymore. That's so cool how the bucket's getting more red as time goes on. All right. I I think for mopping, we're looking pretty good, but we're probably going to want to clean this stuff up. How do we... We can move stuff back if we push... There. Dude, this no is really crazy. We can clean all this stuff up and make it look like nothing ever happened. You just have to do each piece at a time. Let me calm move is the best I could do. Mm, where would this go? Maybe here? I think the, the blood on the wall is definitely a, a bit of a problem here, so let's try to get this all cleaned up. Oh gosh, we probably shouldn't have put the desk against the wall before we did, though. It's hard to re reach places. Okay, can I move this again? I can't. There's probably some blood back there, but it is what it is. If we put our garbage can- Oh, you hold the garbage can and you pick this stuff up. That makes sense. Anything that's green, we're going to want to throw away. Oh, we can- If you hold it and you go and tag everything, you can see everything that it's, it's listed and we can- Ah, that's pretty nice. All right. We've even got a little highlight mode here so we can see what things we need to fix. Get this dresser back. back. Where it belongs. Okay. Oh, this hatchet. The key. The hatchet will do. Definitely want to pick that up and not not leave that there. Let's put this maybe back on the We see where it's supposed to go. I was thinking back on the nightstand. We have some footsteps and stuff. I'm gonna put this back here, maybe? This goes this goes here. Where does this go? I don't see anywhere. Is this trash then? This might Nope. There's no spot for it to go unless it was supposed to go outside. Not there. <laughs> Grandma with the knife? Alright, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this on the, the bedside then. Just put that right there. All right, that that is really really sad. I do think we had there are two footsteps there, and then a couple other things we need to grab. So let's get our mop back out. Make sure we get all that and that there. And I think this room is pretty much done. Our own bloody footprints on the floor here in the bathroom. See, this is tough because we need to cover our tracks as we leave. We keep leaving new footprints all over the place. So let's just focus on the the big stuff first, I guess, and then we can, we can, you know, it's like you're raking your sand trap and, and golf or something. Oh boy, we've got bullet casings on the floor. Yeah, we probably don't want to leave these. What did this guy drink? He drank milk? Is this all chocolate milk? What in the world? All right, so we're going to try to pick all this up. We just made our first trash bag, so we're going to have to take the trash bag. I'm not a garbage man. I'm a trash collector. Pickup point is a place where you bring any items, bodies, crime evidence, and trash bags that are too large to put in your inventory. In most cases, this will be the trunk of your pickup bed. The better your pickup truck, 
Could also be some different place depending on the ongoing task. Leaving an item at the pickup point is easy. Just throw it. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did with the items before. So we're going to want to put this away. And we're going to have to run this outside. We've got a danger hazardous biohazard materials sign here. We're going to go get rid of this. This this game is incredibly well done. Like, I'm blown away. I'm also going to take our mop bucket here. I think this is in rough shape because we used it so much. So we're going to put this out here. We're going to fill it back up with some clean water. What did bro have... Uh, as good as new. What did bro have have the, the thing here for? That, that is a, a little awkward. All right, let me pick up these. No, nope, can't pick up the pizza boxes. What do I do with these? What do you want me to do with that? Just leave them? I mean, I guess, I guess that's what he did, right? So we're going to put this here. I would imagine this is going to go over here. Get his, his little thing right there. All right. We've got this fell over. This symbol, is that what they're called? Put this over here. Not going to be any sign of a struggle today. His sick gamer chair is going to go back at his desk. And then we're going to have our work cut out for us here. This is a lot of stuff to take care of. Oh gosh, look at that. When the mop is full and you start, oh man, that is disgusting. All right, so we're gonna clean that out. We do have two of everything too, which is nice. So let's clean this up here. And you can see as we progress down in the bottom right, the mop will get redder and redder as time goes on. And then I think we can switch to our second mop. So if we go in here, we go to mop and go to mop two. We've got a second mop, so you can kind of do two at a time here. So we're just going to get all of this cleaned up. I don't think he's going to get a very good key on this green screen if it's covered in, in blood. Just got to make sure he's ready to become Twitch famous. Also, it looks like we might... Oh, we can't clean this one because it's full. It looks like we might be able to use... Not that. The, the shower as a water source. All right, got some clean water here. Keep in mind, we're gonna have to cover all of our tracks again, unfortunately. This is incredibly well done. I, I cannot believe how good this is. Like, I'm, I, I, it doesn't need to be a crime scene. I, I feel like it's it's so good just as a cleaner in general. The crime scene is cool for sure, but like, I, I wish every cleaning game was this detailed. A couple things left to fix in here. I'm imagining this is gonna go right there. And do we have anything else? out of place in here. I mean, we can't make it, oh, that looks out of place. We can't make it too perfect, but at the same time, oh, at the same time, like, do we, do you want me to pick these up? What do you want me to do with these? I feel like that's kind of uh, not right to have baseball sitting around, but I also don't know where we'd put them. I think we're good to go upstairs. I think, I think we've, we've taken care of this. All right. So we're going to go back to our hands. Let's pick up our bucket. We're going to take this downstairs. I know we have a huge mess down here. The fish tank really, dude, you had to, I mean, this is a beautiful, what is this? 5,000 gallon. I have no idea how big fish tanks are, but this is pretty cool. Mark was Mark his name. That's the one that cheated. Um, feel like he was doing pretty well for himself. He, he had built a beautiful life for he and his family. Oh, I, I dropped the bucket. Fill her back up. That's what I'm talking about. We've got multiple buckets, so we could set those up if we wanted, but I think we're doing just fine. So let's clean this off. And we're gonna keep getting all of these footprints and stuff. This kitchen area is just absolutely brutal. This is gonna take so long. I don't know if I wanna clean up the blood first and then move stuff, or I kind of feel like maybe we move stuff first and then clean. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Detergents are enhancements that you may use by pouring them into a filled bucket of water. They could have various effects such as prolonging the time before the mop gets dirty. Be careful because if you pour out the water or replace it, the detergent's effect will disappear. To activate any effect, rinse the mop in a bucket with the detergent added. Hold on a second. Let me clean this mop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this up. Give me some new water here. Give me some new water. All right, so we can, we can use detergents. Let's put this back down. Detergents improve mop performance. Hold on. Resistance reduces the rate of the mop getting dirty. Strength increases the cleaning surface. Pure. Use it to make the water in the bucket stay clean for a longer time. I'm going to use resistance. So we've got a resistance bucket now. And we had different buck. I wonder if the different stars of buckets. I wonder if they make it so that you 
you can do multiple detergents. Like, this is another one star. I'm just gonna get two one stars next to each other. And then I'm gonna take... Let's take our three... Dude, stop it. If we could do a three-star bucket and do three detergents... Let me see if this works here. Oh, it even... Dude, this game is incredible. It bubbles. So, like, if I wanted to do this... If I wanted to do a second detergent, the yellow detergent here... I, I can't put it in. Because it's, it's already got the green. But if we do yellow and that, yep, it's got three slots for it. So then we can do, so we're gonna have extra surface area, extra uh, mop doesn't get dirty as fast. And then also the water in the bucket stays clean for longer. We're gonna have all of those all mixed in one. This is incredible. This game is, is seriously, don't spill that freaking bucket, Trev. Oh, wow. This is so much faster. Oh, that completely changes the game here. This is amazing. Dude, this, this, this is the best clean... The mop's not even starting to get dirty yet. This is the best cleaning game I have ever played. Th this is by far the best. Like, it's not even close. Mop is finally kind of starting to get dirty. It's dirty now. So we're going to go rinse it in this. Because we want to have that same type of, of water on it. But it's not going to get dirty as fast because we have all the bonuses. Dude, this is amazing. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I was a little bit worried. I thought it was going to take a really long time. But we're, we're going to be okay here. Oh! Okay, you can knock the buckets over. Be really careful about that. You, especially when we've got the big one. I don't know how much detergents cost or how many we have, but this is not something I ever want to go back to using a normal bucket of water with. We should probably clean up the furniture. Yeah, let's let's do that, Trev. Here, let's, let's clean this up. Where does this... Where would you put this? Right here. We're going to set the table. We're going to eat here like a family. Like we love each other, okay? That is... Dude, that is really really freaking sad you gotta turn it turn it before it'll accept it okay um yeah there's no more family dinners happening here how did this chair end up all the way over here dude the physics are are pretty good too the way everything interacts with each other we've got bar stools which would go right here but it wants us to kind of pick up the trash first i think so let's pick up all the little little trash bits broken wine bottles and plates and all kinds of stuff here just gonna Try to pick up all these casings. Duck down to be able to get that. Okay. We're going to have to move the rug to be... A, is that a casing under the rug? We're probably not going to want to forget that. Clean up the table here. We got some more casings over here. Got that. Another trash bag we're going to want to pick up later. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're fine. I don't... Forgot we're going to have to clean the basement. I don't love Tried that. that call, but ran out of time. 911. Dude, this is crazy. If you'd ever bought these, maybe you could have saved your family. Knife my wife. <laughs> well, he had that taken care of. Gotta get tables here. Can I... It's not letting me pick up whatever case... I guess the casing looks like it might have disappeared now, so that's good. All right, let's get this whole area cleaned up. Get these drawers put back in. I mean, they put up a fight. You gotta respect that. Move Mission that back against the wall. Straighten that. We've got another chair here, which is gonna go right there. I don't know how, I mean, they, there must have been like a big scuffle. Found another hundred dollars on the floor here. I'm going to, I'm going to take it. Why not? Put the lamp back. We've got to put these, these drawers back in here. Shut them, shut them. I like how you have to move everything and then, you know, move the big furniture item. I'm looking, we're missing a dining room chair that goes right here. This bottle of wine, where would we put this? Where would they keep their wine? I mean, there's wine glasses over here. I might just throw it down. Let's grab our sponge when we're here in the kitchen. We're going to make sure we put this in the special water. We should be able to get this stuff without breaking any of the cups and things. Now that we have things picked up, I don't think the, the furniture that's been placed in the right spot can be moved by the mop, which makes our job a lot easier. So we can just kind of freely do whatever we can. I don't know if we're supposed to be stealing. I feel like it's wrong, but at the same time, with the amount of work we're doing here and the amount of, uh, you know, life in prison we're risking, I, I'm going to take the extra couple hundred bucks. Pick up these shell casings. Not going to lie to you, I really don't want to go down in the basement. This, I mean, it's really not that bad, I this was guess. Not this was not a drill. No, it wasn't. We're going to pick up all the evidence down here. I just, I don't like the idea of a basement. I don't, oh. Oh, hello. Hold on a second. Can I move this stuff? Get out of my face. What is this? Why do we have all this cash back here? And can I steal it? Bro, what? 
Bro had a bank vault in the back. I'm taking it. He had it on a, a trolley. Are you kidding me? Am I not supposed to take this? Yes, totally worth it. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that or not, but I'm I'm not too worried about it. Candy for breaking bones. A hammer. All right, we're going to collect that. Is there anything else that was used down here? Not really. Okay. I was really worried about being down here. I thought it was going to be super creepy, but it honestly isn't that bad. Dude, this is a crazy freaking game. Okay. Is there anything left un unturned here? Are we leaving footsteps? I don't think so. Got to wait for your intuition to come back. We're good to go. All right. Basement's done. Woo! We are leaving some footsteps. So we got to be careful there. This is mostly done. He did say something about is this. This might be where the CCTV footage is. Trying to access a protected folder. Authentication required. Manual hacking or brute force hacking. Six. What do we have to do? Six. One. Two. Four. Four. Six. Five. One. We're gonna. Can we take all these? Oh, we can. We can delete. We're just gonna delete all the security footage. I don't know what day this happened on, but we got rid of the archive. Okay. Um. I think. I think that's good. Do we have to wipe for fingerprints or anything, bro? What in the world? So much for all the healthy living. What will I do to improve my wife, my life? Number one, keep a healthy diet. I should lose at least 15 pounds. Do workouts at home. Less than a decade. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I don't think you got to worry about that anymore, man. Any opportunities to steal any jewelry or anything in here? Any cash anywhere? Oh, yep. I'm taking this home. I feel like I'm supposed to take the cash. If I'm a crime scene cleaner, I think you want to take the cash. I'm not above that. You know, it, if we're being honest, my... my morals are already in question so what what's what's the difference between taking some cash from a dead guy nothing in here anything in here that that is the biggest thing of hand soap i have ever seen in my entire life do we want to pick this stuff up no i think we're good to go we've got a bunch of bullet casings here oh this is where he must have started huh walking up the back door that's where he was shot for the first time Managed to walk a few steps, then fell into the water. Oh, that was the pool boy. I bet pool pool boy was the first one to go. Wow. Dude that did this is a savage. I'm just admitting there's one bullet casing here that we cannot we cannot pick it up. It will not let me pick it up. Even if I move this chair, it won't it won't let me get it. So if we go to prison for life for that, you guys know it's it's not my my fault here. So we got that. Uh I think. I mean, most of this room is done. Let's get back to our mops. And we're going to start making our way outside. Love this new detergent feature. Oh, we're getting a little full. Oh, God. Okay, what we probably want to do, let's just pick this. Let's pick this up. Let's collect it. Oh, no! I got rid of my good one! Dang it! Okay, we're going to go fill this up outside. We're going to leave it outside so we don't keep trudging stuff in and out. That makes the most sense. Let's put this here for easy access from everything. And then hopefully we're still going to have detergents to be able to put in. Dude, this is so cool. All right. So we got that. Let's rinse both of our mops in it. And then we're going to we're gonna take care of everything that's left in here. For the most part. We're also missing a chair, so we got to watch out for that. I'm gonna. We're going to do a last second sweep through the whole house when we're done. I thought that was more cash right there. But let's let's at least, you know, get most most of it taken care of so we stop tracking stuff in and out. These steps are tough, man. My goodness. All right. Getting a little bit full. Don't knock it over this time, Trev. One thing we can't forget to do is the lady that fell. We'll go over there in a second. We have a power washer. Why have I not used this? How do I use this? I feel like outside a power washer makes more sense. Water level in your station is an important aspect of the pressure washer. Water runs out after some time and you can monitor its status by looking at the station with the, with the tank. Water level is indicated by the blue line. Shrinks as water decreases. You replenish water the same way as a bucket. Just take the power washer station to a water source. Okay, cool. So we, we've, got, we've got this thing. The blue, we use it. The blue line represents the... Oh, wow. 
It represents the water that we have, and then we have to re- Fill it every little bit. Dude, this is so good. Oh my goodness. We can change our nozzles too. You can switch back and forth, left and right. So that used about half of it right there, which honestly is is not not bad. And then if we want to re don't knock that over. If we want to refill it, we put it over here. It fills it back up. I'm gonna take it over here. This is what I was talking about over over yonder where she fell. So we're probably gonna want to use the trash can on this. We're gonna have another bag there. We're gonna wanna throw that out later. I take you as my piece of trash. Okay. Kind of a weird dude, not gonna lie, but I would expect nothing less. Now we're gonna use our power washer and we can just wash up this disgusting mess that we've created. Or really, she created herself. She shouldn't have died and fallen like that. I wish I could wash my shoes. Every time we step, we're creating new issues for ourselves. It's like the next four steps after walking through blood, it, it creates a problem. Got a feeling we're going to need this for our pool, so we're going to take this back over here. Now the... Oop. I didn't mean to do that. My question was, could we put... Could we put detergents in this? No. Oh, that would have been sick. I'm going to pick this up. We're going to put it over by the gate. I, I think we're going to have to learn to be a bit more... I don't know. Uh, efficient? I, I am a little bit worried because it... Oh, there's the last chair. Beauty. I was missing you. Do we have anything in here? Nothing in there. Do we have this trash bag? Oh, did I get like weird chills in this game? I really don't like it. I, I don't know if we'll be able to do a full a full series on this game. Sometimes when I'm, I just like... Dude, did somebody died here. This is not good. All right. Let's try to mop this up. Like, I legitimately have the heebie-jeebies right now. Like, I, I I really don't like it. And talking about it is... Do I have to clean these up? We don't have to clean these up, do we? This is just their own mess. We will clean up the stuff that doesn't look normal, though. Like, broken vases and wine bottles and, and whatever else. Okay, so we're gonna want to run these back to the truck. Yeah, I don't like this. I, I It makes me feel weird. I, I really don't like it. I'm gonna grab my power washer. Let's get this down in the pool here. And we're... We're just gonna get to work on, on spraying this business. Ooh. This is so much better than the mop. It is a little unfortunate that we have to keep refilling it, but honestly, it's it's not... It, it lasts for quite a while, so I don't think it's too... too terrible. Let me put that back. We're gonna want to pick this stuff up and... We can throw it, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna throw these to the side of the pool. We've got our glo I was just gonna say, I don't know if we need to be worried about fingerprints, but we do have our gloves on, so that's good. Pick this up. Hopefully, over time, we would be able to improve the performance, you know, improve the reserves of this thing so we could not have to fill it up as much, but all in all, it's definitely not bad. This is a freaking gorgeous pool. Look at the size of this pool. Bro, this dude was balling. This dude had everything going for him. Cheated on his wife. Got this some, some business he didn't want to get into. I mean, I don't know if he deserved this kind of a response, but it's easy not to to cheat, bro. Definitely makes me sad that his, his wife and kids paid the, the price for his poor choices and actions. Let's make sure we get all this stuff out of here. It does say we have one other piece of evidence in this area, so we need to make sure we find that. I wonder if our little uh, water source here can ever run out. Alright. Looks like, uh... Can I get that? I can't get that? Is that glitched? No, we can't get that. Looks like we're about about done here. Pick up our power washer. We gotta look for this piece of evidence. Definitely gonna wanna clean this off. I don't think it makes you go to 100%, but I at least wanna get the big stuff. Dump that out. Where's the evidence? Would the evidence be over on this table? I'm gonna take that $100 bill. Would it be over here? Is there like a shell casing we missed? They've got a basketball court in the- Oh, this is so sad. It's gonna wipe it off. That would be really heartbreaking. I don't know where this evidence is. I, I'm- I'm sorry, but I- I can't- I can't find it anywhere. That's really not good. Do you have one more- I don't- Dude, I don't want to be in the house anymore. I- I don't want to. I don't know what it is. It's just- It's giving me the heebie-jeebies, okay? You know what? We're just gonna go. We're just- uh, I'll- I'll clean that. I- I just- I- I really don't like it. I- I- I don't know what it is. I wish I could be less of a bitch right now, but I'm just like, it's get, I don't like being in that house. I really don't. I, I'm i done. I'm out. Yep, let's go. I, I know we weren't 100% complete, but I just don't like it. I, ugh.
The hair on the back of my neck is standing up. It's gonna give us like a full breakdown of how we did. 99% on the, the cleaning score. We left a couple pieces of evidence. We stole a bunch. Oh. Stolen items really made us very suspicious. We probably don't want to steal things unless it's really worth it. <laughs> All the rubles we stole there. So we had, we had Russian money. Isn't that a ruble? I'm not sure. Interesting. Thank you for playing. So that's the end of the beta there. I'm going to add it to my wish list for sure. I mean, that it's a really well done game. That is the best, like from a gameplay perspective, the cutscenes, the voice acting, the actual cleaning, the, the buckets and mops and sponges and the different ways you have to clean, cleaning things up and putting drawers back away and finding things where they go, putting in in the right places. That That's good. I, I really love it. I just, the whole nefarious side of it is, is really traumatizing. So hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we'll, we'll see how the main game goes. I would love to play more, but I'm just a little freaked out by it. I'll see you later. Peace out.